Hello and welcome to another episode of Geophysics Made Easy with Blueback Reservoir. Today we're going to look at a couple of the interpreters tools and the new fault contacts feature. So as you know, the toolbox speeds up your day-to-day -day work in Petrel and adds some functionality not available in standard Petrel. In addition, you can find some uh, tools in the geophysics, geology, reservoir engineering and project management domain. But today we're going to focus on some of the interpreters tools that are part of the geophysics toolbox. So the first one I'm going to show is the dip indicator, which lets you see the true dip of your reflectors in your interpretation window. Second, again, in the interpretation window, we can use the attribute annotation to display your um, attributes from your horizon in the intersection view. And finally, I'm going to show you the new fault contacts process, which allows you to interpret and map your um, fault contacts in Petrel. All right, let's take a look at how these uh, work together. So here we have a Petrel interpretation window, and the first step is to come to the Processes menu and select the Blueback Toolbox. And then we get some extra icons here on the right-hand side. The first of which I'm going to show is the Dip Indicator, like so. And it's a really simple tool. I just click and I get this little uh, indicator displayed, which I can then drag around my uh, interpretation window. And what this shows is the uh, true dip um, based on um, your time and your uh, horizontal distance. It uses a velocity to calculate the dip, and that's something we can change by right-clicking. And if I go to my settings, you'll see in the draw style, we have uh, just an average velocity specified here. But we can also, if we want to make it more interactive, and choose a velocity model, press apply, and we can also change, for example, the opacity here. Then what we can see is I move my cursor around the intersection through changing velocity, the dips on the indicator change. So it's just a simple tool to help you QC your uh, reflectors. Next, I'm going to show the interpretation attribute annotation. Again, it's a simple one click, and I click this icon here. Up pops another little window. And what this lets you do is display a seismic attribute, or a surface attribute rather, along your horizon in your interpretation window. This one works by first clicking the tool and then activating your horizon from your input tree. So if I click on this BCU, it changes uh, what it's displaying. So now it's displaying interval average. I can change it to display the two-way time. But rather, I want to show the target and the interval average. And here, again, I can change the size of the uh, annotation window. I can right-click, and in the settings, change the opacity and the thickness of the uh, attribute in question. So it's just a nice way to see how a certain attribute plays out across your intersection. The final tool I want to show is the new fault contacts uh, tool, which is a little tool for interpreting and mapping fault contacts. So again, with an active horizon, I can come to this menu in the bottom right, click on create edit fault contacts, and then I can start to interpret. So this tool works by using either shift to create a uh, up indicator, control to make a down indicator. If you click without holding either, you get a neutral indicator. And if you hold Control and Shift, you can delete. So I'm just going to go ahead and interpret the rest of these um, throws across these faults, like so. And then the idea is we can flick to another intersection and again keep interpreting the throw across these faults like so. And then what we can do is we can come to either a 3D window and use the fault context as a guide to, for example, interpret polygons around here. So I can interpret my polygon along the up throw and then round and back down through the down. In addition, you can also display your fault contacts in the map window, which makes a nice uh, visual way of seeing how your faults are interacting in your map window. You can also come to the fault contact set here, right click and open the settings. 
and here you can get um, your statistics for your point set. So you can get your up and down um, points and you can see the difference in the throw across them. So with that I would just like to say thanks for watching and if you have any questions please get in touch. Thanks.